Gente, back at it again. We, we got it done, did it. We are here at Hotel Villa Therese. It is a truly a rare find. I, I want to say, when people talk, talk to me and say there's hotels that folks aren't talking about, Chris, recommend something that's off the beaten path, that's quite high in quality, first row stuff. Man, right away, without hesitation, I recommend this hotel. And today I have quite the treat. Not only did you see and get a chance to explore with me, I get a chance to talk with some of the responsables here. To my right is Mathieu, the hotel manager, and to my left, Maxime, a owner of the property. So I'm, very, I'm so, so happy to have both here. We can really get a deep dive, get a sense of what's here and really understand why, we, why you should come and why you should enjoy out of the many different selection possibilities that exist here. I'm not gonna talk too much. First and foremost, what makes this hotel special, Matthew? Well, first I wanna say thank you for being here and for that great introduction. It's really a pleasure to, to have you here. And uh, I wanna say that uh, the thing that makes it special is really the, the experience that we give the hotel is you're gonna meet a lot of Petronville. So being in the heart of Petronville, you're gonna be able to experience a lot of the city. Uh, the fact that we are in a really a nice and quiet neighborhood is really something that our guests love and the reason why they come here is for this quietness. The fact that the, the hotel is in a sleep really in a, in a lush garden, in a really green environment is really something that the people like as well. And so we're here to give you the whole Haitian experience uh, at the hotel. That, that, that's appealing to me. We'll watch you, Max. Um, it's special. I would say also the hotel is very special in the sense that it accentuates the culture, the Haitian culture. Most of our artwork, whether it's paintings, sculptures, mirrors in the rooms, even our hallways, we have a lot of sculptures in them. It's local artists that we get them from, and from different villages. We don't stay in within Port-au-Prince. We go to different villages to get them. And like Matthew said, we're trying to get the Haitian vibe but with a little gourmet taste and a little refinement. Well, listen, you, you, you got it. You know, when the archers hit, they hit dead on, you guys got it dead on, let me tell you. <laughs> so, one thing we have to know now is the specific, what, what, are, what are the stats? How many rooms, I mean, what can you do? What can you really do here? So, so first, you need to know we have a secured parking. We can accommodate up to 45. 45, 45 cars in parking, parking there. That's, like, that's a rare thing in Haiti. Most like it's 10 cars sometimes. So, so yeah, so you're gonna be able to park your car. We're gonna, like, your car is secured. Then we have 18 regular rooms, four suites, and one apartment. 18 regular rooms, four suites, and an apartment. So you say apartment, I can, I can stay here? Yeah, of course, okay. whatever you want. Nice, <laughs> book me a room, I'm gonna be here for next year. <laughs> All right, uh, as well as the rooms we have, a swimming pool, we have a beautiful swimming pool which is quite big and people love it. We open, the, the pool is open for the people to the outside. So we have a lot of people, especially on weekends, that come to spend the day, which is nice. Uh, so you just do a pool, pool pass kind of. Exactly. Yeah. And usually on, on weekends, we have a buffet and, uh, you know, a, we do a la carte uh, during, the, the, during the, uh, the week. Okay. 
but then during the weekend it's it's okay. So so it's really it's something it's a we you can a pool, we have a rest we have a restaurant, yes, we so do you have come a just to eat. So it's not just a hotel, it's just a whole experience exactly. in terms of if you want to go out. Okay. Okay. So the hotel is also open to the people from the outside. It's for our guests, but also for the, for the folks to come enjoy. It's open for six thirty in the morning until ten PM. Okay. So and we do a, a lot of events as well. So any kind of events you you think about. We're going to be able to, to get up for that. Wedding, conferences, you name it. Any, bars, pudran, exactly, all that. Exactly. So uh, we, we, we take care of that and we really refine details and, uh, and service. Excellent. Now, the history. It has to be, I, I can sense the soul here. What's the history when it comes to Villa Teres? Well, it all started with my great grandparents who actually owned a big home on this property and they had several kids so they need a, a big home with many rooms and when my grandmother she went to the states she had her life in the states everything got married came back and she decided to start a bed and breakfast and that's when the hospitality started in the family and she ran it as hotel Caribe for the longest time and from then on she ended up traveling to the states and my dad ended up buying the property from her family and that's when Villa Teres started. And unfortunately, during the earthquake, it collapsed. Wow, so this so is like rubble. It's, it it's was not, complete rubble. Oh my goodness. And we decided to rebuild. And we rebuilt a few years ago. And from then on, it's been great to have all of done here. And hopefully, it's expand. Because the thing is, when you first come in, it, the, you, it's, 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 so, it's, it's so well architectured. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's been here yeah. forever. But then you're telling me too, it's brand new. Yeah, because right? we ended yeah. up keeping like the facade of the hotel is part kind of the of the architecture of the last hotel and also the pool. It's the same type of pool side. So we wanted to incorporate some of the things of the past but keep it brand new and refreshed. Nice. Yeah, and you, and you guys hit it. You guys hit it around the spot. Hotel to Villa Tarez is where you want to be. Now, we gotta get details. How do they book? How do they book? How do they? How can they get that website you, online? Phone up. What exactly? Is? You can go on our website. You're gonna find all the information. You can go find us as well on a social media. You can give mm -hmm. the message or anything like that. Otherwise, we're on all the biggest OTAs, Booking.com, okay. XBA, okay. and they can book. All right, the info will be below. <laughs> <laughs> So the food has magically appeared <laughs> in front of us here. I mean, these guys are fast, let me tell you. They, there's no hour wait here at most restaurants. I mean, you order it, it's out here. That's that's number one. <laughs> so we have a bunch of good looking stuff here. Maxime, break it down to us. What's, what do we got? Okay, so we have shubut, which is just cabbage that has been basically fermented. And we have the ceviche de Mabi which is delicious here, everyone comes for it, and we're serving it with casa and lampe tap chips. And also we have the Plan Nacional of Haiti, which yeah. is Grio, Grio. Nacional, and Pikmin. So let's do, first and foremost, let's do a taste of the cabbage. And you said you saute this thing here. It, it smells it's good. It's almost fermented. Mm. Wow. I've never tasted anything like this before. It's I mean, I've seen it. Well. Right, yeah, but not like this. <laughs> this is this is something very unique. It has a vinegarness to it, yeah. which is very interesting. Right? And now let me grab the ceviche. Mm -hmm. Grab a little meat on there. Oh yeah. That's ceviche. Ceviche comes from uh, which country really? Like, Peru. Peru. Mm -hmm. This is Peruvian with ceviche, let me tell you. <laughs> exactly it. Mm-hmm. That same tenderness, and same consistency, right? It is perfect. It's that every little spot in the tongue, yeah. perfect. Now, that's Peru. I'm about Haiti. So this is the grill right here. We got this. Oh my God, so juicy. I'm, I'm, I like the. I know some folks don't really like the the uh, the fatty grill. Look at that. So it's so. <laughs> get on my fork. There we go. And yeah, look at that. You guys can't see it, but man, it looks. Smells great. And get people travel far in a country of grill. For folks to travel this far, for grill means you're probably doing something special. Let me see. 
y'all killed the pig today, didn't you? This is this is a yeah. kill this Maybe. is a kill pig today taste <laughs> I'm having in my mouth right here. This is really good pork. My goodness gracious. Listen guys, I can vouch for you. I've been here before, I ate here before, it's good. Today it's good, it's gonna be good when you come. Listen, come here, stay at the hotel, come here, just order the food, you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Now, I need to get out of here because I'm missing music, because I push this way, eat my food, get out of here. Listen, I, I showed you the I showed you the rooms, I showed you the scenery, I showed you the pool, I showed you the food. Take my word for it, food is 10, tap 10, 10. When I tell you this is one of the most underappreciated hotels, it makes no sense. Listen, you're coming to Haiti, you know, put this on your list, stay here, stay a, a weekend, right? You won't go wrong. Come, visit, enjoy. Tell them Gentry sent you. And guys, until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again.